Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to customize how Excel starts. So let's say that, for example, you have some certain attributes or certain things in Excel that you want to always see over and over again, like maybe uh, the first row, I always want that to word wrap. Maybe I'll just select that and have that word wrap and the second row I don't care. So if, when a word's wrap, if I type a lot of letters, of course it's going to wrap. And then if I type a lot of letters here, it doesn't wrap. And maybe also, let me go ahead and just delete that. Alright, so also, so now if I select this row, you can see the word wrap is on and this row doesn't have it. So maybe this is my header row. And maybe also I'd like to see the so certain shapes that I draw. It goes in default blue, but I always want to see that in maybe an orange, and I want to set that as my default shape. So whenever I, let me go ahead and delete that, whenever I go ahead and create a shape, and it will always show up in that same color. Oops, make square shape. It will always show up in that same color. Let me go ahead and delete that. So whenever I start Excel up, now that's that's all set. I made it. I made that shape a default shape my first row is a wrap has wrap text on what I want to do now is I want to save this as a template file so let me go ahead and go to file save as and I want to save it as a template file Excel template we'll call this just book we'll just delete that one and I want to save it in the Excel start folder now if you don't know where the Excel start folder you can just go under in Microsoft this is Microsoft uh, seven, Windows 7, I can just go to Excel, type Excel start, and it's going to find that folder. All right, so when it finds this folder, I want to, I'm going to click into that field and get the path. I'm going to go ahead and select that path, it's highlighted, Control C to copy. Let me close this. And then this is a save as, right? So I'm going to save it as, select that, and Control V to paste. And just press enter and now I'm in that folder so I have the file name book Excel template I'm gonna save it so once that's saved I'm gonna go ahead and close this I'm just gonna right click here and close and now I'm gonna click and open a new Excel and you can see now wrap text is on and then the second line doesn't have it now if I wanted to insert a shape it's gonna insert it in the color that default shape that I had it or the default color that I had selected and uh, same with any other shape now if you wanted to go back to the uh, Microsoft default you don't want to have this template that you created when you create a new one you can just go under file new and blank workbook and that's going to create a new Excel worksheet without those without those uh, customized defaults that you had. If you want to go back and open a worksheet with those customized defaults, just press Control New and then you can see that you've got we've got that happen here. It's the wrap the wrap text is on, the row it doesn't have wrap text. If I insert a shape, it will insert a shape in orange color. So that's how you customize how Excel starts with some specific worksheet settings. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos from me, click here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and leave a comment below. I'd like to hear from you and hope to see the feedback. Also, do you think others might benefit from this video? If so, click the share text below. YouTube will automatically provide a shortened link to this video and give you options to share on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and other social networking sites. Again, thanks for watching.